is keeping a beard a fad or a sunnah? And what is the ruling for a person who shaves his beard? As far as keeping a beard, whether it's a fard or a sunnah, and I understand that when we use the word sunnah in future, it will be the fuki sunnah or the word mustahab. Therefore, I prefer using the word mustahab for sunnah so that there's no two difference of understanding. So as far as keeping a beard, whether it is a fard or a mustahab or sunnah, most of the scholars, majority, almost all, they say that keeping a beard is fard for all the Muslim men. There is no verse in the Quran which says whether keeping a beard is fard or not, except there's one verse which speaks about the beard in Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 94, where Aaron, peace be upon him, Harun alayhi salam, he tells to his brother Musa alayhi salam that, O son of my mother, do not hold me by my beard or by the hair on my head, indicating that Harun alayhi salam, he had a beard. And when we read the seerah of the Prophet, and all, we come to know that all the Prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had a beard. Alhamdulillah. And all the righteous people and all the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, righteous people, the Sahabas, we realize that they had the beard. The ruling as far as it is fard is based on the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number 7, in the book of Dress, hadith number 5892. Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. He says that the Prophet said, do the opposite of what the mushrikins do, what the pagans do. Keep the beard and trim your moustaches short. Now based on these hadith and several Sahih hadith mentioned in Sahih Muslim and other hadith, the scholars said that because it's a commandment of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam call, commandment, therefore it becomes fard on every Muslim to keep a beard. Most of the scholars, alhamdulillah, all the scholars, including the four aima, the four aimas, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Imam Ibn Ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on them all. All of them said that keeping a beard is fard. So according to all four schools of thought, keeping a beard is fard. Even according to the scholars, the shaykhs of Salafi Salin, the Salafi scholars, all of them said that keeping a beard is fard. There is no difference of opinion. And according to Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, he says that according to the Quran, and according to the Sunnah, and the Ijma of the scholars, keeping a beard is fard. And anyone who shaves off the beard, it is haram, it is prohibited. And even the scholars of the four schools of thought, Hanafi, Shafi, Maliki, Hanbali, all of them say that shaving the beard is haram, all the scholars. There are a few scholars, very hardly any amongst the old scholars who have said that keeping a beard is mustahab and shaving is makro. If keeping a beard is mustahab, shaving becomes makro. Very few amongst the old scholars. But recently, among the new scholars, you have a little bit more numbers who say that it's not far, that it is mustahab, like Sheikh Abu Zohra, Sheikh Jadu al-Haq, who is the ex-vice chancellor of Al-Azhar University, Sheikh Yusuf al-Kardawi, few that have come recently. And especially if you go to North America, if you see the fatwas of the North American Fiqh Council, the ulmas of this Fiqh Council, many of them have said that Keeping a beard is not fard, that is mustahab. You'll get reward, but it's not fard. And if you shave it, it's not haram, it's makro. But as a whole, the scholars of the past, almost all, there's a consensus that keeping a beard is fard and shaving it off is haram.